I have a gentleman here who uh, probably a lot of people you know. I'm going to do a little talk with uh, Rick uh, Bratt from AMA Plastic. I think he married into the family. I'm not sure how this works. I could yes, ask I that did. later. <laughs> and uh, it's basically uh, plastics. You know, everybody, pl what does AMA do? Thanks, Larry. First of all, thanks for coming out for this interview. My pleasure. Thank you. Uh, what does AMA do? We're, uh, we started out 30 years ago uh, next year as a growing container sales, primarily plug trays and nursery containers that was started by my father-in-law, Alan Monsma. And uh, eventually he worked his way into the seating business, selling seating machines across the country. And then uh, uh, in 1996 got into the hydroponics business selling growing media for the hydroponic growers. And that's when my wife and I looked at each other and wondered how he was going to do that on his own. So she started part-time with him and I came along in 97 and we ended up both full-time with him. And uh, it's gone from there. So today AMA is still primarily a distributor of growing containers across Canada. Uh, we manufacture and sell around the world Al's Flower Pouch, which many people know. And we make that here in Kingsville. And. Uh, we're also in the hydroponics supply business, selling growing media and tomato clips and twines. And we sell that now internationally. That's, uh, we moved into the U.S. market as well as Canada. And uh, we also manufacture Ellipots by AMA, which is a okay, reading yes, media for that, cuttings. Yeah. So you, you're, you do wholesale and retail, so you know the average gardener can come out and buy some of your pouches and hanging baskets too, so you have a retail shop? And we don't really have a retail store. It's primarily aimed at the wholesale market. Okay. And, and where, where is it located? I mean, in case... We're here in Kingsville, just off of uh, off the third concession on Spinks Drive. Okay. That little industrial park there? Correct. First one on the left? Yes. Perfect. Great. Uh, noticing here, you always amaze me how... How you can bring in all of your stuff that basically what you're what you're selling. You have a beautiful display. I'm going to say the second largest because you know the largest is at the other end. But you, the only advantage you have is uh, you, you're right next to the coffee, so we talk a lot when yes. we're at the coffee. Uh, how many shows of these do you do a year? I'm just just amazed. I mean, we you know the the group here that does this, they start working probably. On, on Thursday, they're going to say, well, what did we do wrong? What did we do right? And But how many shows do you do a year uh, where you go out and, and try to sell your wares? Well, between the between the six of us, um, our manager, uh, management team, we do about, uh, I think, 15 shows around North America. How many? 15. 15, okay. And that's just North America, but uh, you... You traveled abroad, uh, you, you were telling me before we you do. Just... We just returned from Holland a week ago uh, from Horde Affair. We've been attending that show for the last 10 or 12 years. Uh, and just to, to see what's new in the industry, the technology changes that are coming down uh, the pipe are amazing. And uh, I think we've seen nothing yet. So, I mean, uh, they always say the stuff in, uh, over in Europe gets here a little bit late. But I mean, uh, our, our, our greenhouse growers are doing great. I mean, the flower, I've never seen so many. The flowers are beautiful this year because of the weather, yes. you know. Well, I guess we're, we're, we're getting short here on time, but there's a couple of, what's new? And I like, the, everybody hears the buzzword, uh, innovation, stability, sustainability. 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 What, what can you tell about it's a, that? It's a, it's a big part of our industry now, and uh, certainly at our business. Um, a few years ago, we changed our Owl's flower pouch uh, to an oxo-degradable film, for example. So we know that the end consumer uses that pouch. It's not going to make it into a recycle program because they generally don't exist for that small quantity of polyfilms. So it will end up in a landfill. So our pouch now disintegrates. Within about two years, once it hits the landfill, it's eaten by microbes in the landfill and becomes water and CO2. It's, it's not one of those... Uh crispy crunchy uh, is it the the sun chip bags that makes all the noise <laughs> nothing like that you can't tell the difference okay so no I just uh, I don't know uh, what else to ask you other well, than we also uh, have introduced Sublime uh, Sublime from BBB in Holland it's uh, a new growing media for the hydroponic business and it's made of polyurethane foam it's uh, showing very good results in the European trials and we've got trials going here in Essex and Kent County now um, we feel that we'll see some in increased production in the tomato, pepper, and cucumber crops on it. And uh, one of the other benefits is it's very steerable for the grower. It's very controllable. 
and it's sustainable as well. Uh, at the end of the crop life, it becomes fuel, so it can go into the biomass or the coal boilers or an industrial boiler, and that's a way to get rid of the problem Great. Great. Of, uh, with stone wool, for example, which is very difficult to, to uh, get rid of. Great. Well, I want to thank you for coming out. Thank you.